Well, that transfer window didn't quite go how I hoped it would. It turns out not having any money to spend really can be quite restrictive. But we've still got deadline day. We've still got loan slots. We've still got non-EU slots. And we've got the Champions League to come. So it'll all be fine in the end, won't it? I've kind of resigned to the fact that this season is going to... Hopefully we should win everything domestically again. But I've kind of resigned myself to the fact that this season we're going to get our buttocks handed to us in the Champions League, but make a lot of money doing it. Hopefully then have a lot of money to spend next summer and have a proper crack at the Champions League next summer. So I think we've probably got two more seasons at Servette before we move on. I think that's the plan. Unless, if they give me no money to spend next summer, we've this is the last season. But we want to have a proper crack at the Champions League, and I don't think we're getting a proper crack without being able to spend any money. And we are completely spent up any loans that we get in are gonna have to be freebies really at this point with over a month to go until deadline day i'm kind of leaving this in the hands of my director of football we did bring in some good players uh little kev um came he was third on the next gen and he signed for us on a free transfer so we got him in early uh we signed finley burns from manchester city on a free transfer uh we signed alvaro martin who's now the best player in the Swiss League, according to the media, and also Sebastian Guerrero, who should come in as our best striker as well. So we have upgraded throughout the squad in key areas. We've definitely, we're definitely a better team than we were at the end of last season. And we won everything last season. So you would think we would continue to get better. We play Luzerne first up, first day of the new season. The media, interestingly, even after we won the double last year, don't think we're going to win the league this year. We're only four favourites. We do have three players in the Dream Eleven: Vulaz, who is a Swiss international, Norton Cuffey, and new boy Alvaro Martin, who, interestingly, we're going to play on the wing, even though he's in there as a central midfielder. But this is our team for the first day of the new season. New boys throughout the team. Let's go and do a football, boys and girls. Are we all looking forward to the Premier League returning this weekend? I'm not going to get to watch any football this weekend, apart from Pedabon, obviously. But I'm going to spend the whole weekend driving, filming, or hanging out in the cold. Is it cold in Wales? I assume it's cold in Wales. Happy birthday. I don't think it's my birthday. Have I decided what I'm doing in Onnie's Legend? Yes, I have. Shady, thank you very much for five gifted. We're one nil down. Shady's cursed. Very kind of you as well, Shady. Five gifted. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What was the response from Penabont to the save and the sponsorship? What will I find out on Sunday? Um, well, they know I'm coming and they know I'm sponsoring the game. I didn't just decide, oh, what a goal from James McAtee, by the way. I didn't just decide I was sponsoring the game. I, uh, <laughs> I, I arranged that with the club. I need to give them some money. But yeah, they, they're, they're loving it. They're having lots of fun. Gutted the Bont game isn't in Hollywell. Should be. I mean, if it was, I wouldn't be going because the whole point is going to going to a Pennabont home match to go and uh, hang out at the Theatre of Dreams. I think they call it. You're more south than Middlesbrough, therefore south. I mean, most places are more south than Middlesbrough, though. That's no way to judge. That's a ridiculous way to judge. Pretty certain people are saying up the Bont because he's going to the match on Sunday. Yeah, exactly. We're allowed to still love the bomb. We just outgrew them. They'll always have a special place in our heart, though. Oh, there's our two new boys combining. I tell you what, if they do that all season long, we're going to have some fun. That was lovely from Marta, or Alvaro, apparently, he's got in his shirt. Lovely from him. And then a very tidy finish from Guerrero, who's got off the mark much quicker than ACOS did last season. Will I be going into the Bont dressing room to give them a speech before the game? I suspect not. I mean, if I was uh, if I was the actual manager of the Bont, I don't think I'd want some idiot YouTuber coming in before a cup quarterfinal talking to the team. Is Finley Burns getting sent off on his debut here? Goodness me. Yeah, I think any interaction with players is taking place after the match, as it should. It's absolute insanity. The likes of which will never be seen again around these parts. But my word, is it crazy? We're less than 200 subs away from a nut tattoo. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Old boys exist. <laughs> We all knew about young boys. Did we know old boys existed? 
This is amazing. We're playing old boys. Did I dish out a lot of attention? Detentions? No. Didn't need to. Because my rules were clear and enforced. You do a couple of detentions at the start of the year, and then you don't have to do them for the rest of the year. The only teachers who had to give out a lot of detentions are the ones who were inconsistent. People don't know where they stand, so they're forever trying to find out where they stand. People knew where they stood with me immediately. Cross me, and I ruin you. Not just with a detention. I, yeah, I'm ringing your parents. <laughs> you're getting dealt with, and you're getting dealt with good, and you won't wrong me again. And then we'll all be fine and get along nice for the rest of the year. I will hydrate. Who are the most annoying kids? Um, the ones who thought they knew better than me. The ones who tried to prove they were better coders than me. Who I'd have to tie in circles. It was always a shame having to embarrass, embarrass them in front of their friends. but Especially because they were usually the smarter kids. But if they're going to try and test my authority and my ability... I am going to get the whole class laughing at them and they ain't going to do it again. Yeah, worse, and they were usually called Dylan. Exactly. Dylans are always awful. So they're completely different skills. They both involve computers in so much as driving and being a mechanic both involve cars, but they're completely different parts of it. Can we have a winner, please? Oh, oh, it's little Kev. Was he on side? Come on. Come on. Little Kev. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, we have the fixtures. There's some really hard fixtures. Oh, my word. The Champions League. Hello. So we've got Manchester City and Real Madrid. And Napoli and Leicester and Wolfsburg. Villarreal. <laughs> oh, my word. Like I said, it's going to be painful, but that lessens the pain because it means next year we should get a transfer budget. I mean, we're looking at that Shakhtar game thinking that's probably our only chance for any points. Oh, my word. The Offie's just done 50 gifted. Thank you very much. That just exploded from nowhere. Very much appreciated. What a hero. I was just going to compare us to Shakhtar. So we're three stars. We're probably the lowest reputation team in the whole tournament. Is there a way of seeing everyone's reputation star rating thing? There probably isn't. But I can't imagine... There's a lower reputation team in the tournament than us. Um, Ren, maybe? Nope, they're four star. Um, Rangers? Three and a half. Yeah, I think we're probably the lowest reputation team in the whole tournament. So on that basis, should finish bottom. There should be a, a media preview page on here like you have for the Premier League. Overview and teams qualified. That doesn't show the reputation either. I mean, it's not a huge problem. We've got, we've got comfortably the lowest coefficient. I mean, our coefficient is 8,000. All these teams... We've got a lower coefficient than Lincoln Red Imps. The next lowest is Leicester. That gives you some context. As far as coefficients go, the next lowest is Leicester. <laughs> Should we see if Penabont made it into the... Europa League. No, I think it was a conference league. Group stage. No, bombed out of Europe. It's all gone wrong at Penabon. Only made it to the third qualifying round. Oh, blimey. Where did you come from? Phone? What did you need my phone for? 
you've lost yours. What's happening to young boys? They're in mid-table. Um, we've happened to them. It's the same as what happened to TNS in Wales. Someone else has turned up and stopped their gravy train. So they're not in the Champions League this year. So because of that, it's all crumbling around them. Seeing if there's any on classic football shirts. Oh, here we go. Here we go. But they haven't got any in my size. But that doesn't really matter. It's not like I'm going to wear it. I'll just get this one. Is that the same club? That looks like a different badge. I might just get this one. How much is 120 Swiss francs? I'm not spending £107 on a football shirt. So I'm just going to get this one. I think this meets the criteria. Did I go to Spurs the Vermonti year as well? Okay, so there was the Banfalvi and Vermonti team and the Era Baron and Wells team. Might have to start putting together a list of teams I'm no longer allowed to manage. Is there anyone I'd absolutely not manage? Only Rangers and Celtic. Although we might, for next year's version, add Osh, Spurs, Arsenal. I think we've managed a lot as well. Um, maybe Ipswich, Southend, Bristol Rovers. There's a few teams I've managed more than once. Might make it a rule that each team is allowed, only allowed to come up twice and that's it. Um... We've lost two in a row there. Not quite sure how that's happened, but now we've lost two in a row. We've got to play Leicester. I feel like this might end badly. Oh, yeah, the reason we've lost those two matches is because the Leicester game's on the horizon. The worry there is we've got big Champions League games on the horizon all the way through to Real Madrid at the end of January. And after that, we've only got five league games left. So... The whole season could be ruined if we're going to be nervous about big games on the horizon. And a couple of people that play at home get actual football management jobs. I'm sure there has. That's absolutely not my long-term goal. My, I am not a professional football manager player. I am a content creator who currently focuses on the football manager video game. There will maybe come a time where I don't focus on the football manager video game anymore but will remain a content creator. There will never be a time where I stop being a content creator and focus on being an actual football manager. I am very much content creator first, football manager second, not the other way around. Well, it'd be cheaper to get a coaching license. Yeah, but you can't go from no coaching license to a continental pro just like that. It takes years of study. So I imagine he is studying for them. But it's still going to be a while before he has them. Oh, that's not good. Why is he even on the pitch in the first half? Oh, what defending! That better not be a pen. Is that a penalty? No, it's a corner. I don't know why they've got a substitute on the pitch. Oh, well, if he's already got the UA for A, then I imagine he's studying for the pro. Or will do at the next opportunity. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. We nearly took the lead against Leicester. I would have been there purely for the content. Again, can't emphasize enough. I'm a content creator, not a football coach. I have no interest at all in working in football. It's far too laddish for me. The closest I get is managing Team YouTube in charity football matches. Well, that was fun while it lasted, but we are now losing. What if it was more local to me? They'd still have to pay me way more than I earn doing this. Because at the moment, I get to work from home, set my own hours, and really enjoy my job. So for me to go and get a job working for someone else, they'd have to blow my current income out of the water. Right, we have our second Champions League game. We are away against Wolfsburg, having lost against Leicester in the previous match. We're going to lose again here. Right, let's shock the world. Here you go, here's our goal. Here's our goal. No. I mean, he's an international. He should be comfortable in the Champions League. He's one of our few international players. The padded seat. Worth a look. Right, this is on TikTok. I shall investigate. Like I say, I don't want to watch too much because I don't want to steal any ideas. 
I am very confident that's not happening. We are a few days away from a thousand subs dropping off from that first insane stream. So uh, there's probably a good chance we get to 5,000. We ain't getting to six. The only way to consistently have success with them is to make content specifically for that kind of platform. And I just don't have time to do that. We would need, for me to really go all in on shorts, we would need an editor to come on for the main channel. I would need to stream maybe three nights a week instead of five. And then I'd also need a shorts editor. So although they do pay a little bit now, I don't know if they pay the five grand a month it would cost to be able to experiment with it. Might be Facebook. I hope it's not Facebook. I guess it could be. I'm probably not going to let her on my Twitter. I think my Twitter is... Twitter's too important to me to let someone else manage. Maybe Anna will end up being the shorts editor. Who knows? She did media at college. I know her degree's in criminology. But she did do media at college. So she, she does... She does kind of know what she's doing with all this. She's more qualified in any of this than I am. I mean, I guess only losing 3-0 isn't that bad in a game like this. Napoli are rock bottom. We're better than Napoli. That's a good thing. This is going to be a very painful Champions League season. There was all, it, was, it was just a happy coincidence that I've left you on a two-day cliffhanger. Uh, that PS5 video was always coming out today. How much do I miss the streamer showdown? Um, quite a bit, yeah. And what percent would I put on one happening in FM23? I would say it's probably about 80% sure there'll be a streamer showdown in FM23. I've heard no talk of there not being one. Did I plan the cliffhanger? No, that just happened. The cliff, I, even when I started recording that video, I didn't know how it was going to end. I'm not streaming tomorrow, but it is podcast night. So we'll have to see. I would say if I had to bet on it now, there probably won't be a video over the weekend. But we shall see. I've, I've recorded tomorrow's video, yes. What I haven't done yet is do the new intro. So I've got to make that after the stream tonight. So I've got to get in After Effects, which always takes me ages. Um. So I've got to make the new intro and then edit the video that's coming out tomorrow because Anna is also on the podcast, so she wants to buy a game to talk about on the podcast. Work meeting, as you can see. <laughs> right, let's find somebody to raid. Yeah, Anna got paid for that, absolutely. That was Anna being on-screen talent. She's done a lot of work this evening. She's been editing all evening and now she's she's been on the stream like five times. <laughs> 